One type of sorting is bubble sorting. To explain this, we will be sorting school supplies by length. For bubble sort, the item in the current position and the item in the next position are tested for which is smaller and switched if in the incorrect position. First, we start at the lead. We compare it to the next item, which is the mechanical eraser. Because the mechanical eraser is not shorter than the lead, we do not switch them, and we move the counter to the next item. We compare the mechanical eraser to the item next to it, the fruit eraser. Because the fruit eraser is shorter than that, we will switch them, and we will increment counter. We will then compare the mechanical eraser to the next item, the highlighter. Because the highlighter is shorter than the mechanical eraser, we will switch them. Mo moving the counter to the next one, we compare the flash drive to the mechanical eraser. Because once again, the flash drive is shorter than the mechanical eraser, we will switch them. The counter will be incremented, and then we will compare the ruler to the mechanical eraser. Because the ruler is longer than the mechanical eraser, we do not switch them and we move the counter up one. We compare the ruler to the next adjacent item, which is the pen, and because the pen is shorter than the ruler, we will switch them. We move it to the end, and since this is the last item in the array, we move it back to the beginning of the array. We now compare the lead to the next item, the eraser. Because the eraser is shorter, we switch the eraser and the lead. We then increment the counter by one. We compare the lead to the highlighter, and because the highlighter is longer, we do not switch them. And we increment the counter by one. Next, we compare the flash drive with the highlighter, and because it is shorter, we will switch them. We move the counter up by one, and compare the mechanical eraser with the highlighter. Because the mechanical eraser is longer than the highlighter, we do not switch them. And we move the counter up one. Uh, we compare the pen with a mechanical eraser, and because once again it is longer, we don't switch them and increment the counter by one. Lastly, we compare the ruler with the pen, and because it is longer, we don't switch them and move the counter up one. And because this is the end of the array, we will move it back to the beginning. This process is repeated until all the items are sorted into the correct position. As you can see, we continue on looping through the items in the array until all items are arranged from shortest to longest.